Hi to everyone, my name is Aisha Sanaf Klaasten and today we are celebrating World Radio Day which is an international day that is celebrated on 13 February of each year. The objectives of Radio Day is to raise greater awareness about the importance of radio among the people and the media. It is also to encourage the decision makers to provide access and information through the radio as well as to enhance the international cooperation between broadcasters. Radio Day is all about the emotional co connection and the companionship between the listeners and the radio. Let's start this day with the blessings of the Almighty. For prayer, I invite Raiz from 9th Standard. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين أهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين عنمت عليهم عير المعلوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين Hello everyone, let me introduce myself. Me, Khadija Ma is the student of Sir Said 6B. It's a great pleasure to welcome you all to this program. First, I would like to welcome our special chief guest, William Girija, poet, program announcer of All India Radio, Kochi FM, and also Sahitya Academy Award winner for the book, Buddha Purnima, and recipient of Changamura Award, for literature. Welcome, ma'am. Next, I would like to welcome our beloved principal, Mr. Niyas Chirakara, on this special day. Welcome, sir. Next, I would like to welcome the two pillars of our school, our vice principal, Ambika, ma'am, and academic supervisor, Safa, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Last but not least, I would like to welcome our teachers, and non-teaching staffs and parents and students and those who are watching our program. Welcome you all. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite our beloved principal, Mr. Niyaz Sharkara, for his valuable words on this great day. So, please. Peace be upon you. Dear students, teachers and parents, today, 13th February, World Radio Day. As we know, uh, UNESCO has decided, 10 years back, UNESCO has decided to observe today, uh, 13 February, as World Radio Day. And this year, it is the 10th anniversary of World Radio Day and 110th anniversary of radio. And this year, UNESCO has selected the theme as evolution innovation and communication. I don't know if the students in front of me know about the importance of radio. A radio was the only mode of communication, only mode of uh, transferring the news previously. All the, uh, is even today uh, we can hear uh, the news read by someone about the assassination of our previous prime minister. It was telecasted through radio for the first time. So it happens. So it was the first and the most popular mode of reaching to people. And uh, uh, previously, maybe in 70s, maybe in 60s, um, we can say that was the only mode of entertainment also. Today you have mobile phones, you have internet connection, you have TV at home, and all, all, all sorts of uh, online games or offline games, video games, everything is there. But previously, people didn't have anything. Uh, we, as kids, used to listen to the um, Chitra Shala, or what, what we can say, movie songs telecasted by All India Radio. And I still remember the first time I heard an English news 
by All India Radio. So this was the uh, condition. Nowadays, the importance of radio has become very, very less actually. But by the advancement of uh, FM radios, uh, radio jockeys, you know many radio jockeys now, uh, radio stations, I mean owners of FM studios, found new ways to reach people, uh, to keep the people in front of radio. And while traveling, I can listen to FM station. So, uh, so it's kind of reinvention. So that is a lesson also. If you're not ready to change or if you're not ready to reinvent yourself, you will be outcast or you'll be pushed away by the advancement of new technologies. Anyway, I wish all the students a very peaceful time ahead and I wish to see you all in the school at the earliest. May the God bless us all. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you sir for your great words. Next, I would like to welcome our chief guest Girija ma'am for her valuable words. Ma'am, please. Pavarati Sir Sayyid English School Lee Vidyarthi Welkum Athyabhagarkum Mattu Pravartakarkum Ende Loga Radio Dinasham Chakal Ayrthi Tholayrthi Enbatthi Moonil Agashavanil Radio Il Joli Kicherna Oralina Nilayil Loga Radio Dinam Ningal Kuttigalam Athyabhagarum Elam Eetredu Nadakku Nadil Nadakku Nadil Enikki Valariathiyan Sandosho Unde UNESCO Ella Rajangal Lim Petta Ella Fashay Lim Prakshayap Na Chayinna Radio Nilayangal Eem Radio Paripadikal Eem Lohakathin Eetum Sahayagarum Ayar Maathimam Enna Nilayil Uyarthi Pidikyaan Ula Divasam Ayana Ez Samidhan Chayetir Kyunda Enna Nilayangal Kya Arya Uri Baadu Maathangal Eel Oudi Radio Prakshayap Na Kaadu Na Pohi Adhanti Sangeetigo Oum Dattriyo Oum Maathima Parao Maaya Savishashtakal Eke Kaadu Kaadu Oru bahasa, engini ane, ruby gari kami di radio perwakti cida ini dale ke matram, jan kadukuri ane, karena, jangal bahasa ma perwakti gar, bahasa elu de ane lo, jenengalu mai samadhi kena de, aga shwani ane, shravya bahasa ma staba ane tu lagi epol, adu neerite ejo maliya beli beli, engini oru podo bahasa unda kiedkam enai lo. Ketrayu wargan kalau pun bayi itu perawi ada tapol, jadi madam pradeshan ini swadhinya kalu de, idayil pette, paleda ini pelakon orang bahasa yang nak Kerala tulen undai rumah de, ah bahasa ye onna ki bilakki, orang mana ke bahasa yang dengan nama ipol bilikinna, mati ma bahasa lek ke pariwarta pikan, sarga thaneri aya, engal de aga swadhi pravartha gar orang bad. Sampahan yang lalgi itu nde. Sheriki marjnal, jadi, madam, pradesham, eni wakun de, citer kedan ni rendna uru fahsiye. Ela uru odom sambadi kya wunna uru, podo fahsiya ke macchiya de. Aga shwani ke polum apiman ke an kadi uru kaji de niyana. Aga shwani uru ceritra tere ke poga nai. Yangal de prepeta vidyarthigal kum matya bhar kumilla. Oru prajodhara mai kudi e log radio dinam marate enna yan prarthike yana radio inde etu maliya prategada inna the angota matram parayuna oru bagarna malla shoda kalle apni prayengalam vigarengalam swamshi gari koyum adha pangad gayin cheyina parisparam kodukoyum vangu gayin cheyina oru mathima mai mari thunda enna yana. Bahasa matra mila, arugim, todil, krisi itu dengia, manusia ini, segala terem perwakti kalayu, cai dani batakan, aga shawani yang nasta apanam, eda peti tuunda, eda pedan tuunda, adah kudu dal jenah dengan lekiti kena ini, loga radio dinam, sahai kete, ngal kelaya berkam, ende, sneha purba mula poku gay. Thank you, ma'am. Now, a radio day, a day that gives us a chance to celebrate radio and see how it enhances our life. Now, let's see.
വേൾഡ് റേഡിയോ ഡേ ഈസ് എൻ ഇൻ്റർനാഷണൽ ഡേ സെലിബ്രേറ്റഡ് ഓൺ തേർട്ടീൻ ഫെബ്രുവരി ഈച്ച് ഇയർ ദ ഡേ വാസ് ഡിസൈഡഡ് ബൈ യുനെസ്കോ ഓൺ തേർഡ് നവംബർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ലെവൻ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ഇറ്റ്സ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് കോൺഫറൻസ് എ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രം ദ സ്പാനിഷ് റേഡിയോ അക്കാഡമി ഓൺ ട്വൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റ് സെപ്റ്റംബർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ടെൻ സ്പെയിൻ പ്രപ്പോസ്ഡ് ദാറ്റ് ദ യുനെസ്കോ എക്സിക്യൂട്ടീവ് ബോർഡ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ആൻ അജണ്ട ഐറ്റം ഓൺ ദ പ്രൊക്ലമേഷൻ ഓഫ് എ വേൾഡ് റേഡിയോ ഡേ UNESCO carried out a wide consultation in 2011 with diverse stakeholders such as broadcasting associations, UN agencies, relevant NGOs as well as UNESCO's permanent delegations and national commissions for UNESCO. Among the answers, 91% were in favor of the project including official support from the various broadcasting unions. The board recommended to the UNESCO's 36th session of the General Conference that it proclaim a World Radio Day at its 36th session and that this day be celebrated by UNESCO on 13th February, the anniversary of the day that the United Nations established the United Nations Radio in 1946. World Radio Day was anonymously proclaimed by all member states of UNESCO in November 2011. In every year, World Radio Day is celebrated with different themes. The invention of radio communication spanned many decades of experimental investigation of radio waves, establishment of theoretical underpinnings, engineering and technical developments, and adaptation to signaling. Wireless communication system by Guglielmo Marconi, who is credited as the inventor of radio. Before the establishment of radio-based communication, the wires needed for electrical telegraph could be eliminated, creating a wireless telegraph. Inventors attempted to build systems based on electric conduction, electromagnetic induction. The discovery of electromagnetic waves, including radio waves by Heinrich Rudolf Hertz in the 1880s. This work culminated in a theory of electromagnetic radiation developed by James Clerk Maxwell by 1873, which Hertz demonstrated experimentally. Other experimenters explored the physical properties of electromagnetic waves and they developed electric devices and methods to improve the transmission and diffraction of electromagnetic waves. On 23 December 1900, the Canadian inventor Reginald F. Fassenden became the first person to send audio by means of electromagnetic waves, successfully transmitting over a distance of about 1.6 km and six years later on Christmas Eve 1906, he became the first person to make a public wireless broadcast. In 1897, he established a radio station on the Isle of Wight, England. By 910, this various wireless system had come to be called radio. Lionel Filton was the first controller of broadcasting in India. He was a senior BBC producer who spent five years in India as the controller of broadcasting and one of the main people who established All India Radio. The first radio program was broadcast in July 1923 by the Radio Club of Mumbai. Four months later, Calcutta Radio Club also went on air. The private Indian Broadcasting Company came into existence in July 1927 when it started functioning with two radio stations in Mumbai and Calcutta. But just three years after its inaugurates, Indian Broadcasting Company went into liquidation and the government took over its operations. This led the foundation for the Indian State Broadcasting Service which took birth in April 1930. But it's June 8, 1936 that's an important day in the history of radio broadcasting in India. On this day, Indian State Broadcasting Service was renamed All India Radio. Agashwani was first used in the context of radio by M. V. Gobalaswamy in 1936 after setting up India's first private radio station in his residence with El Vihar. All India radio stations with over 415 radio stations in about 23 languages and 146 dialects All India Radio is one of the largest radio broadcasters in the world it also has 99% population coverage and 18 FM channels Bhojana Hidaya Bhojana Sugaya is the motto of Agashwani Walter Kaufman was the composer of the iconic tune of All India Radio
ഇൻ കേരള ട്വൽവ് കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി എഫ് എം റേഡിയോ സ്റ്റേഷൻസ് തിരുവനന്തപുരം ഓൾ ഇന്ത്യ റേഡിയോ കൊച്ചിൻ എഫ് എം റേഡിയോ സ്റ്റേഷൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് എഫ് എം റേഡിയോ ഇൻ കേരള വിച്ച് ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസസ് എ ന്യൂ എ റേഡിയോ കൾച്ചർ ഇൻ മലയാളം റൈറ്റ്ലി ബ്ലെൻഡിങ് ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ ആൻഡ് എൻ്റർടൈൻമെൻറ്റ് Next, I would like to call upon Famida, my dearest Kuli from 10th standard, for the vote of thanks. Famida, please. Respective principal, vice principal, academic supervisors, teachers, parents and all my dear friends, peace be upon you all. It's now my present duty to promote vote of thanks. First of all, I would like to thank all my teachers for giving us this beautiful day and opportunity. And I am very much grateful to our principal, Mr. Niyas Chakra, who is such an impactful leader. and who is always supporting and encouraging us thank you sir next i would like to extend my sincere gratitude to our most valued invited guest vm girija program announcer of all india radio kuchin fm who spared time for us to grace the occasion thank you ma'am and next i extend my gratitude to our vice principal miss ampika and academic supervisor miss safa and all my dear teachers who is always supporting and guiding us and special thanks to all the supported members of this program for conducting this event in a good manner last but not least i would like to thank all my dear parents and all my dear friends thank you